everybody pretty much has to do the right thing uh, all the time, or somebody gets hurt or you damage a multi-million dollar piece of equipment. I'm Carl Kaiser. I'm the program manager for the autonomous underwater vehicle portion of the National Deep Submergence Facility at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Uh, well, first of all, always keep the number of recoveries equal to the number of launches. <laughs> Secondarily, uh, don't hit the ship and make sure that you finish with the same number of people that you started with. When something goes wrong and you're sitting there trying to recover from, from something having gone wrong, that you really get that shot of adrenaline. Uh, the very first time I did it, I was told to stand there and hold this rope, so that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> the first time I was actually responsible for it was a lot more nerve-wracking. Um, but you know, it's like anything else, you get used to it. If the weather's not too bad, I would say it's not all that stressful on a daily basis. It's when you push the very top end of the weather envelope that it gets scary, or or when something goes wrong and you basically get to a safe spot. You figure out how to do the minimum necessary to regain control of the situation so that it doesn't get any worse. When people get hurt is usually when the first thing goes wrong and they overreact or panic and then it's the second thing that hurts somebody. Today's recovery was only the third recovery we've done on the ship and by far in the roughest waters. It was pretty nice. It wasn't as smooth as you'll see in the same weather in another week, but I would say for where we're at in the cruise, it was an eight, and overall it was a six or seven. It was nice. Mm -hmm.